In this video, we're going musky fishing with fishing with tape. He's pretty epic. But as you can see right now, we got the bathtub loaded up. Got my musky stuff in the back. We're going musky fishing, and this is hopefully going to be pretty epic. Musky are known as the fish of 10,000 casts because they can be so hard to catch. And whenever you do catch them, well, they look like this, so it's a pretty epic catch. Giant fish, crazy patterns, and big teeth. And a lot of them. Let's go. All right, Tate, what you thinking? What you reckoning? Um, we go out here, get a little wet, and uh, catch a muskie. That's the plan. Do yeah. you, you got baits or no? No. All right, no. good. Because I've, I've been collecting these baits. This has kind of been my little side hobby, just going on Amazon. First thing before we even look at the bait, we got to look at the hog supplies, okay? Let me show you what is hog supplies. You may be asking, what is hog supplies, right? I was wondering, yeah. All right, first thing, boom big pliers because these things got big teeth and they can swallow a bait but now i don't want to stick my hand in there so big pliers got nice. that curve on there i don't know what that's for but it looks cool yeah stainless steel all right next check this out check this out boom i've never used these but i'm i probably could <laughs> then i got this i don't think i need this i don't think i'll ever use this but if i ever want to weigh a musky which people don't do i, I can maybe might be good just to like grab it. Maybe, grab it like. <laughs> hit them with something. Oh, oh, oh. Hit them with... <laughs> they work. <laughs> All right, next here, I've never used these either. Jaw spreaders, just in case, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I was not ready for what you were about to pull out of there. Th these seem pretty nice and last, but definitely not least, I got Band-Aids, okay? First aid, because if you do get messed up with a muskie, you don't want to paint your boat red. That's pretty much all I got. I built the hog supplies, you know, hey, yeah, it, it is good for musky. I think these are like, if you're literally like down there taking the hook out and then it gets a hook in your hand and you want to go ahead and cut mm -hmm. the hook quickly because they're pretty strong. You don't have to sit there and unhook yourself. You just cut it. But I figured a hey, hog supplies, I can use this for big fish. Hogs, hogs even. Big catfish, I don't know. Here's my box, okay. I come out and look at this box daily and just make sure everything's still there. Boom. There's not many baits, but... With musky fishing, you don't really seem to lose that many because you're usually in a boat and you got giant, you got really heavy line and you don't really have to cast anywhere too special. So I got a whopper plopper. You be looking at these, all right? Yeah, you, yeah, you can yeah. pick any of these. Gotcha. We'll put you a steel leader on there and then basically you pick your bait. This is good. Obviously it's whopper plopper. It is fall. It's a few leaves on the water. Mm -hmm, Not one mm -hmm, thing about that. Mm -hmm. We got these. I mm -hmm. caught one on these, but I don't really like them. Really? They get caught up on a lot of leaves too because they got a bunch of trebles. Mm -hmm. Look at here. This is my secret weapon. I don't know if I'll show it, but I, I will. I will. It's a six inch swim bait. You may be saying, oh, what's up with a six inch swim bait? Well, if I'm down here in a creek and there's a tree hanging over, I can skip this thing under it and get somewhere where I can't get nowhere else with these baits. Then I got this frog. I don't know. Probably never use it. Looks cool though. And then last but definitely not least, we got the big old bucktails and they're not even really that big. But for a creek musky, which is where we at, pretty solid. I got white, I got Halloween, and then I got Billy Eilish. So you, you choose your pick, whichever bait you want to go start with. Which one you think? And the good thing mm. is that pretty much all the baits in this box is pretty much the same weight so that I can cast them on this only one rod and do everything yeah. with one. Well, I brought an extremely heavy rod. So okay. <laughs> maybe too heavy for these. I'm thinking be. if you're not feeling this, I think I'm going to go with this. Try it. Is that heavy enough? Could be. I mean, I don't know if any of these are heavy enough, honestly, for the rod I got, but... I think I can make do with it. And if you're feeling frisky, I got a one hook prototype. All right, you ever seen something like that? No. Single I have not. hooks? I think there's a reason no one does this, but I've never tested it. Probably. They got barbs on? They they do have barbs okay. on them, but I think I'm gonna start with the Billy Eilish. I just think it's I just think it's fitting. Or Halloween. Halloween's over. A little late for that. Thanks. One. I'm gonna go with this one. Sweet. All right, we good. Now we just gotta get the boat and water. And now we're gonna start fishing. There we go. What are you thinking? Supplies. I think we're gonna catch them. I, I, I feel think good. We do. I think we do. The water's really clean. I highly doubt anybody's been out here because it's been like 12 degrees for the past two months. About to slay. About to slay. Get the net. That's right. Musky man. I just want to say this. I've never actually used the hog supplies before. So I'm still learning. But he just brought up a very important point. What was the what was the hog supply that you mentioned that I just yeah. don't have? Well, when you get a big musky, you want to take a picture with it, right? Yeah. Well, their gills are super sharp. Yeah. So it's good to have like a glove. A glove. Yeah, a glove. I forgot kinda... a glove. Yeah. On one of the toothiest critters in the water. And I forgot a glove. All right, we're going to get this shindig in the water. And then uh, we're rocking and rolling. The bathtub is exiting the truck. <laughs> 
on that side. No. Nah. Old bathtub, let's go. This thing's a unit. It's a legend. I've got my money's worth already. Seat is in the water. Uh, Not the first time that's happened. We'll slide it on down there. I'm going on a high stakes rescue mission for in the SS bathtub. Come on, and we there, we got it. Come on, brother. You're safe now, I got you. All right, you ready to undock? Undock. Undocking. All right, we's in the water. Now let me hook up the patrol motor and see if it works. Let me see. Plus. All right, here's a question for you, Tate. Okay. Is red supposed to be plus? Yeah. Yeah? I think, yeah. All right, I think so too. What's weird is that on this battery, the red thing is on the minus and the black is on the plus, which is, I don't know who set that up. It's actually me, but shout out to me for putting these backwards. As long as it don't start shocking me, I'm good. All right, moment of truth. We got power. We're good. I went all in. I got me a Shark Sh Corrado 300. But they're right here. So here we go. We just start fishing now. Are we out here on the water today? I got this right here rigged up. What you got? I got the Billy Eilish. Oh, yeah. Nice. You think they're Billy Eilish fans or what? We're about to find out. Look at old Billy Eilish in there. Looks good. Doesn't look bad. And then what we got to do is every time we bring it in, at least do a figure eight one or two times and watch. Because if the muskie's coming in, you just keep doing that for until he bites or until he's gone. They say 50% of your fish will come off the figure eight, which means if you don't figure eight, you miss 50% of the fish you could catch. But you miss 100% of the fish. You, you don't, don't shoot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Should be sick. Now, as you can see, all the laser fell off. It's kind of cold. I don't think that's going to affect musky negatively, but we're definitely going to find out. Or we're going to try to find out. Here we go. Musky invasion. So I was hoping hog supplies was going to be a waterproof bag, but I don't think it is. I need me like a waterproof bag just to put my phone and stuff in. It's supposed to make your figure eight really wide. Are you? Because musky, where they're so long, it takes them more room to turn around. Mm. You know? We'll take whatever we can get. Hmm. Oh, that's probably him. Is that a muskie? Get over there, get over there. I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Both up, both up. Was that a muskie? Yeah, I mean, I'd say so. It was a big old squirrel. Oh, man. He blew up twice right over here. I'll bump us over that way a little bit more. It's going for a wave. He was quick too, wasn't he? Yeah, he, was. he went boom, boom, boom. I'm saying he could be anywhere over there. He could be anywhere. I think we just saw that one right here smoking top, something on top water. And he was quick too, so he definitely wasn't too lethargic. Well, I'm popping off the Billy Eilish and I'm putting on the Whopper Plopper. Good thing is with musky fishing, you got these leaders and it's super easy. It's just a little snap right here that you just take off and put something else on. We're coming in, pulling out the Whopper Plopper. It's an epic bait. It's just so cool to use. It's very cool. See, with that big rooster tail, pretty much, it goes under the water and just kind of spins, inline spinner. But this thing's going to sit here and pop, 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 pop. Really cool. Really interesting. Favorite bait right here. Whopper plopper. And since this is a real big one, it makes a real nice plop. Here we go. Oh, son. It's game time right here. Hopefully he's still in the area, but if not, we might hit him on the way back. Just a matter of does our cast intersect his eyesight pretty much. Oh, we got a musky, 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 musky. See him? Drop your bait right there beside of him. Yeah, just see if we can get him to follow it. We just gotta follow guys. From what they say, they say if you see a musky, it's a good day. Cause they ain't many of them. They don't buy much. Did he? Oh man. Where'd he go? He's still on. Is he? I don't know. I hope we don't get it right there because I'm gonna lose my rod. Oh, this is the moment of truth. That's crazy. He was a big one, dude. He was all about your waffle. All right, guys, we're taking a little break, snacked up. <laughs> 
was not ready. He just got domed by a stinking ash, ash tree or whatever that is. But it is snack time. We had one follow. He's got an MRE. He's got all kinds of snacks. I'm about to tear into this one right now. A little cheese and crackers. But oh, you got no, two MREs. No way, Mario. What's that stump again? Oh, it's right there. Concussion. Yeah, it was snack time. So far, what do you think about the fishing? Not bad. I mean, not bad for, I mean, we've been here for what? Over an hour? Probably an hour, yeah. So, seen one fish. I mean, that's. You got to think to account. That's musky fishing. That's pretty good. Yeah, very good. I'm going to give you all a taste review right here. I've not had these. Ever. Really? Yeah. Cheese and crackers? Well, how you gonna mess it up? That's a good point. All right, here we go. Cracker going in with the cheese. That cheese is something else. Mm. That's a good cheese. Yeah, I always end up with like one or two extra crackers because mm. I'll be Oh, yeah, good point. Comment below if y'all ever ate these for. I've not, but I like it. Boom. You ever had those? Mm -mm. Those are legendary. <laughs> they are legendary. Yeah. I see them everywhere, but I'm just never the guy that eats them. I don't know. Looks like OKG okay, might need a haircut. Getting a little fluffy. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You're held together with a rubber band? <laughs> My wife's hair tie. All right, guys, we're going to eat, fish a little bit. Hopefully, we get one. Oh, oh musky, musky. Get the net, get the net, get the net. On the whoppy ploppy, on the whoppy ploppy. I just worked. <laughs> Oh, Tate's got my Chinese net. <laughs> here, spread it out, spread it out. Bruh. Bruh. Am I dropping here. the ball right here? No, you're good, you're good. Spread it out, spread it out. Oh, gosh. Yeah, here, now push it forward. Push it forward. Before. Just unscrew this. It, like, screws here. Hold on tight. Okay, I got it, got it. There we go. Okay, All right, we got the net. Okay, we got the okay, net. Okay, sick, sick. <laughs> All right, bringing him up, bringing him up. We got him! Yeah, yes! Let's yes! Go. <laughs> we got him! Let's go! Oh my goodness. Oh man. That was almost bad. It was almost bad. Here we go. Now we can just take this. Oh, oh, oh. Let's my cheap, this is like a $20 cheap Chinese Bro, net. And it was. There is no more exciting way to catch a muskie than that right there. That is crazy. Let me see if I can go ahead and unhook him real quick. If I can get it out of this. Let me first get it out of the net. Sorry, bud. Oh, yeah. I'm going to come in here like this real quick. Eh, maybe not. The hook is very close. Be careful. That hook is very close. Pulling in my hog supplies. I'm going to employ this thing. Actually, I'm going to employ my jaw spreader so that I can get in there and better get to that hook. He is hitting the death roll. If I can get it out of his mouth, that's a great start. He is just destroying that. He is not like, yeah, he's not liking that. First thing, let me just cut my line. That'll give a little bit less to work with. There you go. We can always retie. Now if I can figure out how to get in here to the, the hook. That's twisting. Oh, 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 no, no, no. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're good with him. If we can just make him sit in that make net. Sure oh, can. no way. He broke oh the whopper God. plopper. He broke the whopper plopper. That's okay. We can replace these. <laughs> now we still got to get him out and somehow recover that um, other piece of the whopper plopper. Yeah. That net was a disaster. That net was <laughs> something. I could not figure it out. These right here are steep. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be interesting to try to get that thing out. We could go up to the dam or where we put in, it's just over here and it's kind of shallow. Think so? We could. Yeah, we can do whichever. Good thing is that as long as he's just I mean, chilling in probably, the net. We could zip either way fast, whichever one yeah, you think better. We could. Let's get him out here and then. Let me see. A glove. Yeah. Bro. All right. Just, you want to use that and grab his mouth? Might be able to. Can, is his mouth open now or? I don't know if his mouth works that way. Does it? It might work. Ow. It might be too bony and slippy. I don't know if he just did that or what. Now we're trying to get this guy out without a glove. We don't. We got this, <laughs> but we don't have a glove. And that ain't working. <laughs> he wasn't going. He wasn't getting off. No, he wasn't like that. Hook there we out. go. Let's go. Let's go. We got the hook out. Still in pretty good shape. I can reuse that. <laughs> Try to shake him around right here. There, there we go. go. There we go. He's good now. Now we just gotta figure out: Am I getting in the water for a thumbnail right here? 
I mean, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. All right, cool. We're gonna move it to a better spot and we're getting in. So y'all getting a little behind the scenes of what it looks like to be a YouTuber. It's uh, cold, but I'm getting in the water because we got to get a thumbnail. <laughs> yep. But we got to get a good thumbnail and it's got to be perfect. So guess what? Y'all going to be sitting right here just in case something crazy happens. But for me, I'm going in this nasty creek. Probably going to get tetanus. Oh my gosh, this is cold. We're going to get tetanus, a little malaria. I'm going to get something, but we're the vine. This is ice cold. Oh boy. Oh God. This ain't even my thumbnail. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievably Woo. cold almost. I don't, I don't know if <laughs> I can do it. this. You got it, you got it, you got it. Can I? Yeah, you got it. Can I? You got it. Our legs are already red. Ready? Don't think about it. When I say one, you gotta go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> this is crazy. You this, got it. Is this a bad idea? It's just no, a it's a great one. idea. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs> you got it. Only that cold. Exactly. It's a mental thing. It is a mental thing. All right, you ready? You got it. I'm ready. <laughs> no big thing. You got it. Breathe. Oh, he did it. He did it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn over to a picture right, mode. I got a good one. gonna go ahead and let this guy go we took a few pictures with him but he's been acting okay his gills are still moving we're just rocking back and forth the cold water i do know is good for him and he's taking off right as we speak so there goes big musky and now i gotta find a towel somewhere good thing we're in a this nasty creek so we can probably find one in a tree yeah oh nice. my i've never done a cold plunge before but i guarantee that's what it's like i mean you're supposed to feel better afterwards so like i could feel my heart like going crazy but then i was like all right let's just chill it's just cold water yeah so, that's what i told myself it's mental, it's mental. it is it's mental. Fast. but i'm alive and i feel like i'm on fire I feel more alive yeah now what the heck you call that <laughs> flesh-eating amoeba flesh-eating amoeba <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there we go. We caught a muskie. We might jump back in the boat. We might fish some more. I don't know. If that's I really don't know what all this is about, but I'll give y'all an update in a couple weeks on if I'm doing all right, though. All right, I'm going to switch clothes, and uh, there we go. We caught a muskie. Well, old Tate out here. Big net man. <laughs> Something like that. 